Hey everybody, it's Ninja Mom here, and I am here with a new to me vendor, and it is Nana Makes Sense. This says, Hello Veronica, thank you so much. I hope you love everything as much as we do. Happy melting, Barbara. I love little touches like that. Um, it's really nice. And then this is her business card. And then my invoice. I bought seven items and the total was $23.30 with shipping. And because she was a new to me vendor, I used the code and it saved $4 and 75 cents off my order. Here is, they came all wrapped, my order. And this says, especially for you. So I'm thinking this might be extras. So we'll go into the purple one first. They're all wrapped in tissue paper. So there's two in here, and the first one is a strawberry donut. These donuts are big. These are big donuts, you guys. I can already smell it. Oh, it smells really good. Look at this. Whoa! I just broke it apart. That was my bad, not her bad. But it's got frosting between it. And then it's got icing. It had a cute little dollop of icing in the top like this. Super duper cute. This smells super good. Ooh, strawberry donut. Can't believe I broke my donut. <laughs> you definitely smell a strawberry bakery. I don't, I, the one thing is I wish she would put what's in it on here. It smells like a really good strawberry, like sweet candy strawberry. Give me a minute and I'm gonna go see if I can find the scent descriptions for these. Okay, I'm back. I could not find <laughs> what's in strawberry donut, but it's good. I definitely get a bakery from it. Some kind of a bread, maybe it's a donut. It's very sweet. Ooh, that's really good. Then I got this, one of her little, uh, one of these little bags of her cotton candy. Cause I hear so many things about her cotton candy being absolutely amazing. This is not, this is more of a fruity cotton candy. It isn't that spun vanilla type cotton candy. This is more fruity. It does have, you can smell that it does have that vanilla, real sweet cotton candy in it. But I get a lot of strawberry from this and grape cotton candy. These super cute little ladybugs and flowers in here. There's another kind of a bug, hold on. Aw, the cute little bugs. That's really yummy. It is not that specific cotton candy I go crazy over, but it is a nice fruity cotton candy. Sorry, my phone's going nuts. Now we'll open the blue one. You guys are gonna hear a bunch of noise in the background. Hold on. This was in the teal container. Oh my God, you guys are hearing noise from my kiddos not listening. So this was in a teal container which has the straw Frankenberry strawberry cone. I have fits being thrown. Definitely smell the Frankenberry in there. That Frankenberry's bomb. By the way, these are all very strong. You get like a strawberry syrup from that in the Frankenberry. I get a light, maybe waffle cone in the background of it. So that Frankenberry and that strawberry really stand out. Then we have, Jesus, 
Mrs. Claus cookies in a Sienna. His little hat got broke. Now this one I was able to find the description for. Um, it's a longy, but it's there. Okay, Mrs. Claus cookie. This is a blend of sugar cookie, a warm butter cookie with a background of vanilla, cotton candy, just like fresh cotton candy from the country fair. The sugary raspberry, strawberry, and sweet vanilla. Pink sugar, a fruity blend of cotton candy, lemon drops, caramel raspberry jam on a dry down of musk. That's what's supposed to be in her Mrs. Claus cookie. That's a lot. I get a really musky pink sugar sugar cookie. I'm not super big on this one. I like when there's accents of pink sugar, but I don't like pink sugar to be like a main star. And it, I feel like this in this it is on cold. So that one I'm not super big on, but we'll see. I might like it. I might blend it. I might send it to somebody else because I don't mind sharing. I love to share. Leave a plate for Santa, which is some Christmas bells. Let's see if I can find that one. Let's see. Come on. Okay, so I don't know what's in it, but whatever. It's hard to find. I really wish she would put, that's one thing I really do wish, that she would put um, scent blends on the labels. Hold on. I have naughty kid. Naughty cat right now. So this is leave a plate for Santa. We'll try to snip our way through and see what's in here. I don't remember it from when I was reading it and I'm not finding it on the site. So I should have snapped pictures. That was my bad. It's cookies. <laughs> it's cookies. I smell gingerbread cookie in here. Maybe snickerdoodle. And some sugar cookie. It smells really good. This would have been awesome at Christmas. But it is still really cold here. And we do have, like, we still haven't had our, like, massive hit of snow and blizzard and all that. We had some snow, but nothing compared to what we normally get. So this will be really awesome for when it does decide to snow. Then I got a little Christmas tree and strawberry fluff. I was really hoping I got the cute bear, like I saw a picture of. I was really hoping for the cute bear. But the tree is okay. Maybe next time I'll get the cute bear. <laughs> if you're listening, I want the cute bear. Whoa. That's a good strawberry. I don't smell the marshmallow in it. This was just poured a few days ago. It was poured on the third, that's why. The strawberry's real strong in it, but um, this needs to cure for a little bit for that marshmallow to come out. Most of these were poured in December so maybe this okay so I don't know maybe the fluff comes out more when it's warm then we have for the last of my order fruity tea and cakes so fruity tea and cakes came in these cute little snap bars it doesn't tell a description but my guess is it's probably pretty fruit loops and tea and cakes yep it smells like Fruit Loops and Tea and Cakes, and it blends really well, and it's super strong. Super strong. Yum. That smells really good. I love Tea and Cakes, though, um, and I like Fruit Loops. So then these must be all samples that she sent, because that's my order right there. So these must be little extras, and it says, especially for you. Let's see. Wow, there is quite a few samples in here. One, two, three, four, five extra samples in here, you guys. One is in Captain Crunch Berry Amish Friendship Bread. I think I... No, did I just order this? I don't remember. I might have just ordered this. If I didn't, I'm going to have to. That smells absolutely amazing. You get that Amish Friendship Bread. I forgot how good Amish Friendship Bread is. And then you get that Captain Crunch Berry. Wow. Very strong. Cranberry root bar preserves. I don't like cranberry. We already know this. But we'll see with the root bar. Mm -mm. 
I don't, no offense to this. It's very strong. It's very, very bold. I just don't like cranberry. That's my thing. I'm just not a cranberry person. Okay. Then we have Count Chocolate Ice Cream Parlor Ice Cream Scoop Bread. I did just order this. Did just order this one. And I am glad I did. This is Count Chocula bready brownie type scent. It is really, really good. If you like chocolate or Count Chocula, this is it. That is super good. Oh my gosh, I've got to order that. Then we have Frankenberry Birthday Cake Blueberry Cobbler. Mmm, that blueberry is really good. I smell the frankenberry and I smell the birthday cake. The frankenberry is in there with that, like, you know, like, strawberry type touch. The birthday is in there very creamy. I can imagine your birth her birthday cake is probably spot on. And that blueberry cobbler. Ooh, 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 ooh. Forgot how good blueberry cobbler can be. And then the last one is Fruit Loops Blackberry Jam Vanilla Buttercream. We'll see. Ooh, saved by the Fruit Loops. This is really, really good. Um, this is Fruit Loops with a touch of like a good dark blackberry jam. And then that vanilla buttercream really creams it out. So it's, oh, that's really yummy. These are so good. I'm so glad that I finally delved in and ordered from Nana Makes Sense. And I just ordered again. So, that was everything. I hope you guys liked it. Please check out Nana Makes Sense. Um, she has got some really strong stuff. I'm smelling this on cold right now, and I am so excited to melt some of this because these are going to be really, really good. Please like, share, comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this vendor or any of her stuff. This is allowed two weeks of cure time. Some of these are over, like about a month old or coming on a month, so... As soon as they're at the month mark, they're mine. So I can't wait. Bye.